With his presidency potentially on the line, Donald Trump's call for corruption investigations could spark a new whistleblower battle. The New York Times reports a second intelligence community official is thinking of filing a formal complaint despite Trump's reactions to the first. Well, if you look at the whistleblower's complaint, it's totally inaccurate. It's reported the official has more direct knowledge of what's alleged to be a pressure campaign on Ukraine to investigate Joe and Hunter Biden. Despite criticism, Trump has openly called for China to follow suit, insisting it has nothing to do with politics sparking reaction from the former vice president. Let's focus on the problem. Focus on this man, what he's doing that no president has ever done. No president. There's also a question as to whether or not a true quid pro quo was associated with Trump's call to Ukraine. Text messages appear to show the release of defense aid if an investigation was started. In an interview with the Wall Street Journal, Republican Senator Ron Johnson says he was told exactly that by EU Ambassador Gordon Sondland. Johnson saying my reaction was, oh God, I don't want to see those two things combined. Notice the president didn't deny that he had said those things. We want the tapes. We want the information. We want to end the stonewalling that has gone on. We'll work through this process. Meanwhile, the impeachment battle is also being fought between Congress and the State Department. A Friday deadline for documents from the Secretary of State was ignored. Mike Pompeo calling the requests abuse. Asking them to do so without... Uh, saying, hey, don't bother calling uh, the State Department lawyers. Just talk to us directly. That's, uh, that's harassment, and I'll never let that happen to my team. Democrats leading the impeachment claim any request that goes unanswered will be deemed obstruction, leaving the party to insist grounds for the impeachment inquiry are solid. There's this meme going around of, of me, and, and I'm saying, Donald, you used to own a casino. You know the house always wins. <laughs> Reggie, what has been the reaction from Republicans? Well, Robin, there aren't many Republican senators that have spoken out against the president's actions, and the few that have have found themselves in the line of fire from Trump's Twitter account. Utah Senator Mitt Romney says the president's appeals to foreign nations is wrong and appalling, but Trump then hit back, telling Romney to wake up and saying he's bad for Republicans. But the lack of noise from the GOP might have an impact on how the 2020 election plays out. The latest poll shows 51% of Americans are in favor of impeachment, and if Republicans choose to line themselves up with the president, they risk alienating some of that population.